Hola a todo el mundo. Hello everybody. Ohio, say más. Uh, my name is Andres Álvarez. I'm here in my garden, in my workshop. And I would like to present you uh, this online edition of the trophy uh, that, as you know, this year is uh, not possible to do in Belgium. So the organization uh, has uh, thought that it was a good idea to have an uh, Spain a good weekend all together, uh, working and having fun with our hobby or our profession. So from here, uh, I'm in Spain, the north part of Spain. Uh, I would like to thank uh, all the Belgian association to give me or to bring me the opportunity uh, of being here talking about bonsais and uh, spending my time with all of you. So I'm going to show you later on uh, a little part of my garden. Today is a sunny day, the birds are singing, the sun is shining, so we will enjoy the day. Uh, here I'm in my Tokonoma with this white uh, pine that uh, I select for this uh, moment for many reasons. Uh, first of all, because uh, one of my, my friends and a person who helped me a lot in bonsai work um, sold uh, to me this tree some years ago. Um, this tree came from David Penavente Garden and he, he bought this tree in Japan uh, because I told him I was uh, looking for a special kind of, uh, of tree that is not uh, so big and so thick and all you know, and uh, he, thought, he thought this was the, 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 the pine for my garden. I was not uh, so convinced of that idea, but uh, David uh, thought that uh, uh, it was, uh, he was right. So last year we invited uh, Hiroaki Suzuki-san, it's uh, Mr. Uh, Shinji Suzuki-san, uh, to Madrid to one show that we have in, in Madrid from Uve Association. Uh, we have the opportunity of uh, seeing Mr. Hiroaki working and uh, David uh, bring this tree to, to him to, to work and Hiroaki-san uh, makes a fabulous, uh, very uh, delicate work in, in that tree. So I have to say that David was right, of course, and uh, that's why this, this vine is, is here. Also, uh, for me, in Bonsai World, uh, there is uh, one family uh, that represent all uh, I wish uh, to be uh, someday. Uh, some years ago, like 10 or 15 years ago, I saw in internet a videotape that it was, it, it, it calls uh, Bonsai Works of Divinity. This uh, video is for me the best video I have ever uh, seen and has ever filmed about bonsai. It's uh, one year in the, in the life of Mr. Shinji Suzuki-san. So I think that uh, says all. Uh, for all the people that uh, have uh, saw this video, uh, you understand what I'm talking about. And all the people that uh, you don't have the opportunity yet to saw that video, please uh, look in the internet and and, and take uh, some time of your life to see this video and maybe you will change uh, your philosophy of bonsai. And all of things that I'm talking, uh, Hiroaki Suzuki-san and the video works of divinity uh, remembers me uh, the garden of Mr. Shinji Suzuki. Mr. Shinji Suzuki is uh, for me the, the best uh, bonsai professional all over the world and his garden uh, is the most beautiful place I have ever visited. I have the opportunity to be in Japan in the 2017 for the World Convention in Saitama and uh, we were invited by Mr. Suzuki to his garden and we can see one of the best gardens I have ever, ever seen, the best uh, garden. And in one part of the garden, uh, all of you know, there is a big tree with a lot of trunks uh, like this, and there is a deer um, under the tree, and there is the water, the sound of the water, and it's a magical place. 
So I try to, to do um, some representative with the deers uh, now that uh, we are final autumn, uh, first of winter, that they are together uh, looking for fun and this sense uh, reminds me uh, that uh, uh, fabulous uh, moment in the garden of Mr. Shinji Suzuki. So hope uh, you will like uh, and hope you will enjoy this weekend with the Belgian Association. Uh, I will later on start one of my demonstrations this year in one of the headliners demonstration of this trophy. And uh, first of all, I would like to show you uh, uh, a little part of my garden. So I would like to finish these works with a haiku of Mario Benedetti that uh, I think is, uh, is perfect for, for this moment. This haiku sounds uh, like this. The last leaf uh, has come down. Uh, the tree is going to sleep. Uh, spring is tomorrow. I will dream. Thank you everybody. Hello everybody, here we are again in my garden. You can see three of my white pines, Japanese white pines. Here is a very old tree that has been shown in the trophy, uh, I think in two years ago. It has been nominated by the jury and came from Daiso Iwasaki Garden from Japan and it has been in my collection for the last 8 or 10 years and I, I'm in love with this tree here is another white pine it came in this case from uh, Kato's family from Maseyen in Japan and it has not shown yet in the trophy but maybe hope in the next years uh, will be shown there And here, finally, you have another tree that has been in my collection almost, uh, I don't know, but maybe another 10 years. And it came from Mario, Mario Costa collection. It has been shown in Niemeyer in Asturias, Spain, around 2010, 2012. And I have uh, the choice to, to, to buy the tree from Mario and from 
that moment to now, it has been in my in my collection. It has been show, I think, in 2015, I think five or seven years ago. It, it was a winner of the trophy and it's a very special Mojogi tree. And as you can see, it's in a good conditions. It's very, they are, all of them are very difficult trees to cultivate. They are very special, uh, but uh, more or less with a little patience and the correct techniques, you can enjoy them. And the three of them are very special tree for, for me. Okay, here we are again. In this moment we are with a Silvestri pine. It comes came from the mountains, it's a Yamadori tree. And uh, most of you, uh, you, you know this tree. Uh, I'm so lucky to have this tree in my garden. Uh, this tree came from another collection in Spain. Uh, one day, some years ago, uh, I had a telephone call from one of my friends that uh, most of you know, it's uh, Jorge Campos. This tree was uh, growing in his garden, his collection, and one day he called me and he said that uh, he, he thinks that this tree should be in my garden. So I agree with this decision of Jorge and uh, we make a good choice choice and I bought from him this tree and since that moment to now uh, I'm enjoying this tree uh, every single day as you see it's a very nice uh, tree with twist trunk and almost uh, have everything that I can appreciate in a, a top level bonsai tree it has been shown in the trophy three or four years ago it was nominated also and everybody uh, told me that he was uh, in love uh, as I am uh, with this tree so I'm very happy now it's almost with no wire and next week uh, I will put it on in the workshop and working on it again it has to it needs to clean the old needles and it has to i need i think it needs to to refine again and to have a another another uh, nice shape now it's a little uh, out of, of, of position in some branches but uh, i'm letting him grow in this year free so I'm happy because I don't have to work too much on it and just enjoying this tree, looking at it every single morning. So I'm a happy man in this moment with the tree. Okay, here we are again. In this case, we are with a Cryptomeria japonica. Uh, this tree is a very special tree and it has behind it a very uh, nice history. This tree, it has been cultivated for more or less 35 years. Uh, a friend of mine, Jose Ontañón, that is not here for anymore uh, has been cultivated from seed yes from from seed that is incredible and 35 years later uh, this is the result of his work 
for me the tree talks by itself and should not say any anything else but uh, I think I have to do it so the tree is uh, I think a perfect style it's very hard to cultivate a Cryptomeria japonica with a nice shape and doing that every single year so it's a responsibility for me because his wife uh, thought that it was a good idea to have this tree in my garden and try to finish what Jose started 35 years ago so it's an honor and it's a pleasure for me to try to do this and I keep trying to do my best uh, to try to have this tree in exhibition again maybe in two or three years to show it and it's a different feeling for, for, for me in, with this tree every day um, of course uh, Jose Antonio was a very known very well known bonsai artist in Spain and everybody in Spain missed him he was so kindly he was a lovely person and uh, for me it's, it's not sad to, to not have Jose here I will prefer of course Jose is here but uh, I think I feel I feel every day I see this tree I feel Jose is here so um, this tree makes me a, a smile uh, every day that uh, I, I have the, the fortune to, to look and to spend my time with this tree okay let's see more trees in the garden well here we are again coming around the garden talking about the trees here you can see uh, an elm it's an ulmus minor european ulmus minor this is a very old tree it's a deciduous yamadori tree and has been one of the winners of the best trophy 20 anniversary uh, last year or two years ago I think last year and has been exposed in Belgium only in that uh, exhibition in the trophy and it's one of my favorite trees of the of the garden uh, as you see it's a very natural and mature tree mature tree and uh, today with the sun shining and all the uh, structure of the trunk it looks uh, very nice and it transmit me very very nice feelings so I hope you to enjoy this tree too let's go and see more trees of the tree of the garden come on Thank you. 
Okay. Hi everybody again. Let's do our last dance. Here you can see uh, two trees that I'm working on them uh, to show in the next years. This is a white uh, pine, Japanese Yamadori white pine. Uh, it has been working by Ryan Mill some years ago in Belgium and now it's uh, getting the final shape uh, to go to a exhibition. Maybe I have to change the pot uh, and do some fine finalist uh, words, uh, just uh, getting healthy and then uh, enjoy with the tree. It's very, very, very old tree and it's very difficult to, to cultivate uh, this kind of tree here, but uh, it's, it's, it's possible and, and I'm, I'm enjoying a lot of with, with this tree. Here is the, the tree of, of my heart, is the, the tree of the garden. Uh, this garden is called uh, Ichi En, means the Taxus Garden, and this is the this tree is the reason for for, for that. Uh, it has been with me uh, for more than 20 years, maybe 25 years, and um, it's in the last period of its formation, and it was prepared to this edition of the trophy. But uh, it's not, it was it's not possible to do it, so I wanted to show to you, and uh, maybe uh, I will try to to bring to the next uh, edition in 2021. And as you see, it's a very old tree with a very nice shape and a very nice uh, size. And maybe just uh, we have to find another pot and prepare prepare it for for exhibition and just uh, try to, to enjoy the tree. So now, if you like to go with me to the workshop, uh, we can start the demonstration. Let's go! Hello everybody, here we are again. This is uh, the tree for uh, my workshop video demonstration for the trophy. Um, this is a Taxus Bacata, as you can see. It's a, a quite different tree that uh, I will do in, I should do in, in a live demonstration. Uh, this demonstration is video demonstration and it's my workshop, so I think uh, I can try to work uh, in another way uh, with a special type of tree, not uh, a big tree as we are uh, used to see in the demonstration, uh, another kind of, of tree. As, as you can see, this tree is a Yamadori tree. Uh, it's a different style that we are used to see in the, in the demos. As you can see, it has a very nice dead wood, natural dead wood, and it's in a pretty good health condition. So I think uh, we can try to spend some time in the tree with you all this weekend of the trophy, and I hope uh, you can enjoy or you will enjoy this, this demonstration. We are going to start uh, in the tree with cleaning all the dead wood and all the parts that uh, we are not going to use. And first of uh, trying to design the tree, we are going to pull off, we are going to cut everything that uh, we are sure that we are not going to use. Of course, we have to see which is the best front of the tree, which is the best angle of the future plantation of the tree and then uh, we can fix all together and try uh, to make a good job and transform the tree 
in a future uh, well done bonsai tree. So hope you will enjoy the demonstration. Uh, this is the tools that uh, we are going to use in this demonstration. As you can see, they are normal tools for for all the trees that we are used to, to work. There are some tools for cleaning up, there are some tools for work the, 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 the good of the tree, uh, there are some tools of cutting, and of course, uh, quickie, wire cutter, uh, like uh, you often see in all the, the demonstration and all the workshops. You can see the wire, uh, copper wire and aluminum wire, in the trees, in this first step of the development, development of the tree, I used to, to work with uh, aluminium uh, wire, if it's possible, uh, for some reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, the aluminium is more ductile than the wire uh, cooper. And uh, in this step of the tree, of the history of the tree, we don't need a, a wire cooper, uh, just only we use for the trees that are in, are for the exhibitions that uh, it's better that you don't see the, the, the wire all over the tree. So in aluminium, uh, we are going to use a thicker uh, type of uh, wire, but in this a step of the tree is uh, not uh, as important. So I used to mix both types of wire, but uh, in this moment uh, I use more uh, aluminium. Another reason, important reason, is that uh, wire cooper, cooper wire, are uh, much more expensive than aluminium. So both things uh, for me are, are important. So I try to use both of them, but in this step uh, more aluminium always in, in, in Taxus tree. Okay, the first step that we are going to try to do in this moment is to clean a little the nervari so we can think about uh, the different angle of the future uh, plantation of the tree. Uh, then we are going to try to think uh, what part of the tree is more interesting and which part of the tree we would like to show and from which part we are going to construct all the, all the concept of the idea of the tree that we are, we are, we are going to, to have in the future or we are thinking and thinking in my mind is going to be the tree in the future. So we are going to start with uh, cleaning the, the, the body a little bit just to, to see if there are some parts that uh, are more or less interesting and which is the movement of the less part of the, of the tree. This part of work is uh, usually it's the same that uh, every everybody of us uh, can do in, in our works of the tree in, in, in every every work that we, every tree that we work. We try to use the plastic uh, for the dead wood because it's, if we don't use plastic, uh, it's, it's, it's not good because they are going to have marks. On the future. So the idea is to try to find if there is something 
that we have to know about the Navari for the future or there is normal everything. As you can see here inside there is a big trunk that is going to be a big root under the trunk so we have to know that we have this for the final design so depends on the angle of presentation that we would like to show we have to know that we have this part is the only part of the base of the nevari of the trunk that uh, we have that problem in the rest part of the tree we don't have anything so we can uh, move the tree uh, as we like to do it As you can see, we have cleaned the nevari, uh, the dead wood, and uh, we can see now uh, which is the movement of the roots. So this uh, this part is so important of the of the tree. So in the future, we can decide which angle are we going to plant the tree, but we have to know that there is a root going in this direction and before it was not clean so we didn't know it's a root under the base of the tree so now we have which direction that before we can imagine it's going to be this big root but now we have we know is the is the root same in this part so now we can imagine in the future which part we can use and with which angle we can use. As we say before, knowing and remember that we have this big part of trunk and root that uh, is, is here and we cannot do a lot of, thing, a lot of things with, with it. Okay, so now, uh, as one friend of me say, let's rock and roll. So, quick kitty, and let's go. Uh, I decide that uh, the front of the tree is going to be somewhere between here and here. It's the most interesting part of the tree, and we can show one, we can explain a history of the tree uh, in the future when we work all the, all the, all the part of the tree. So now, uh, as you can see, there is a lot of small trunks going up the tree. So we can use some of them or you can, we can uh, take off some of them. So we decide where is going to be the apex of the tree, of the structure of the tree, and we are to take off all the parts that uh, we are not going to use. So let's go. I'm kidding. The problem with the taxus is that it's a very hard dead wood, so it's not easy to, to cut the branches, but you have to keep him going. And going on and don't be afraid just cut okay we are going to use um, some of the trunks there is maybe 10 12 trunks 
So we are trying to use uh, most of them, but not all of them. So probably this cram is going to go off and we have to decide what's happened with this, this trunk. I think uh, probably it's not going to be to go off because we have to calibrate uh, somewhere of the, of the tree with some, some small trunk. So this one is, is a very nice idea to, to try to do with, with this one. And here in the apex, of course, we are going to clean a lot of green part and uh, we have to select what uh, part of the green uh, we are going to keep and what part of the green we are going to take off. But first of all, before wiring, before styling, before decide uh, what part is coming uh, on or off, uh, small spans, we have to clean all the green part inside of the tree. There is a lot of uh, new buds coming out in Taxus tree, there is always, always growing inside the tree. So we are not, it's not going to be able to clean the tree after wiring. So we used to clean before wiring. So first step now is to clean inside. So we can see all the structure, decide uh, what's going off and then start designing the, the tree.
Okay, we have uh, almost finished the clean up of the tree. As you can see, there is uh, much more spaces than uh, a few minutes before. And now uh, we have uh, in the tree just the branches that uh, I think we are going to use in one way or another way. So now uh, we have to decide uh, the position, the angle of the tree to design the green part. So I think we have uh, two options. One option is to turn, turn the tree up to this part. But remember, we have the root here that is going to be difficult in the future uh, to transplant, transplant the tree to a small uh, type of uh, how do you say maceta in English? Pot to a small pot. So I think uh, there is another option that is taking the tree to this part more or less and maybe just turn some angles to this position so here we will have a better angle of plantation for a future pot so i imagine a very old a very old tree growing in the mountains so we have to make sense of this part that is dead wood why this part is dead and why this part is green so we have to mix both concepts to make the essence of the tree that we are looking that count as a history so we have to find an imagine in our minds before cutting before designing how we can fix this part with this part just I don't like or we, we don't have to, to I don't like uh, to, to see trees that uh, there is one type of tree in this part and one type of tree in the top. So normally in the mountains the tree uh, is growing in the same part of the mountain, both parts, the valley, the Chiagari and green part. So in a pot supposed to be the same. You have to imagine that the tree is or in the valley or in the highest part of the mountain but cannot be in both parts at the same time so if the green part is so healthy and the nevari is uh, a lot of there is a lot of dead wood something is, uh, is, is, is not mixed good enough so we try to not take off the dead wood so we have to take off some green part to mix and to fix uh, the history in the way that we want to talk about it. So now we clean on the nevari, we clean on the part of the, of the trunks, we cut all the branches that we are not going to use. So now we can start uh, thinking in the small details uh, and where the branches are going to, to be in the future design. Uh, I always say that in the first step you create branches and the second step of the tree you create the spaces. So in the, few, in the first years of the design of the tree we have to grow and we have to cultivate the tree uh, good enough to create a very good branches with all the good structure of the branch and deep enough and with a lot of uh, cups uh, that uh, looks pretty but then when we have that we try to, to look for the spaces the spaces uh, are really the main reason of the tree uh, the spaces are the most important thing in the future to, 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 to imagine why the tree is like it is it's not for the nevari, it's not for the trunk, it's not for the branches always in my opinion uh, the imagine of the tree in the future is uh, all around the spaces. So in this case, for me, it's an exception. So we are not wait a lot of time to make the spaces. We are going to do it the spaces in this moment because it's a type of tree that we can do that. So we don't need 
the branch is a lot of uh, with a lot of green, so we can use the branches that we have. We have green enough to make a sensitive uh, structure, and the most important part of the structure are going to be the spaces. Okay, here we are going to design now the front, the view, and the angle. So, I think the best option is to have the dead wood in the first part of the tree, but we have to see the alive vine of both parts of the tree. So, I think more or less from your point of view, the front is in, in this angle. And then, before we said we have two options, up to the left, up to the right. So I think the best option in this moment is to put the tree up to the left. So more or less, it's going to be from here, and then, It's going to be this point of this point of view. Okay, it's time to cut in this moment, just to, to leave the branches with the uh, longer that we will need in the, in the design.
Okay, let's continue with the other side. Okay, before, before we start uh, wiring, we're going to separate uh, one of the tracks just to make sure that we're going to use it in, the, in the final design. So we're going to separate a little bit the trunk. Okay, move both of them, so we need to put first the one in the main trunk and then separate the other one, so first we are going to put this one, just to make sure that this tray, uh, trunk is not going to, to move, so now we can push with this one with no problem. 
and just put in the position that we would like to be. Okay, so now let's continue wiring or cutting or both of them. Okay, in this moment we have to decide what to do with this first branch and uh, I was wiring this, this branch but uh, I think it's, it's not a good option so I'm going to take the wire off just a little and then cut the branches like this Okay, so same thing in this branch, off, I'm trying to get the green part up um, just to wipe the last part of each tree to try to show a um, very old tree growing in the highest part of the mountain with a, a few parts of, of ring only so all the branches that should be in this area are not uh, necessary for this type of design same idea as in the other part so don't be afraid and cut what you think is not necessary for the final design and go ahead also as we said uh, before uh, we have to try to look for spaces so not only I have to cut some branches, uh, I think I have to cut some trunks, uh, some of the trunks. So in this space there are too many things. So one of these trunks is going to go off. Maybe some more. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to present you my fiel assistant in all the works that uh, I'm doing in this workshop is uh, Tola. Thank you. 
Okay, uh, we are making the last uh, touch, touches of, of the work. So before, some, some time ago, uh, we put uh, these two uh, sticks to separate the trunks, but uh, we are going to remove them uh, and try to do uh, something uh, better for our eyes. So we, we take uh, some copper wire and we try to separate the trunks with, with, with the copper, with the wire. So uh, you have to do something like this. Just to make it strong, move it a little. So you make, make a, a piece like this, just to put uh, inside here and separate the trunk so your, for, for our eyes it's uh, much better. So I make a small piece before, just to put uh, inside this one. To make this trunk don't go to the left when we put the other one. So this one is not doesn't have to fit so strong, just only to support the trunk and we cannot almost see and uh, this one let's try how it fix longer and I think it's uh, almost in the same position that it was before but we can improve this idea Turning this this way, so this should be the piece, and now I proof a little bit, just fix perfect up there and fix perfect up here, so almost we don't see the work but is in the same position like uh, before okay we are almost uh, finished the work as as you see uh, there is another structure of the main trunks on the main branches and uh, we have some spaces and finally we are trying to um, uh, make the little jeans uh, all over the, the tree uh, but it's difficult because uh, they are so, th uh, so thin so uh, we cannot uh, do much more, much work because uh, if we do, we do too much they, they break down so we try to, I try to, to clean them a little and just uh, we have to wait and times will, will work, will do uh, better work. So, so now it's, uh, for now it's, it's almost uh, finished. You have to, to imagine later on, uh, we, we are going to try to make uh, for you another presentation, but uh, now uh, you can imagine the, how it's, it's going to be. So let's see if it's with a pot or with other type of elements, but uh, here is the final 
the final result. Oops. The final result in this in this moment. So. Wepa. So hope you like. Thank you for uh, watch this video, and I wish to uh, see you soon in the next uh, no, in the next trophy or whatever in another exhibition. Of course, take care, be safety, and be huge to everybody. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.